everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining our free online lesson today. And I would like to introduce myself first. I am Eugene Lam. I'm a technical support at AK System KL. Okay, so our free online lesson, our topic for free online lesson today is how to create a furniture, 3D furniture using AutoCAD. Uh, if you all have any question or any comment, feel free to drop your comment or question in the chat box and I, I will reply you. Okay. okay, now I would like to introduce the, about the AutoCAD first. Why we need to choose AutoCAD? Because now AutoCAD is including a few specialized tool set that can speed up your works and make your works faster. For example, if you this architecture to set, when you use the normal AutoCAD before this to inserting a video, uh, Windows, it requires more step to create this window. But if using this architecture to set, you can skip, you can make it faster. Okay, other than that, we also have technical support. If you have any problem with your software or you need us to help you with the installation for the software then you can just contact us and then we will help you to install it okay without further ado let's start our free online lesson today i'm going to share my autocad screen i hope you all can see the screen okay, okay. I hope you all can see the screen. If you cannot see it, you can drop the comment in the chat box. Okay, so our topic today is create 3D modeling by using AutoCAD. And basically today I will show how to create this simple chair using AutoCAD. But if we have enough time, then I will, maybe I will show another furniture, how to create another furniture. Okay, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome for those who joined just now. Okay, now we will start create the leg. So the leg first, like this. Okay, so I'm going to draw a rectangle first. First of all, because we are creating a 3D model, so we have to change the workspace to 3D modeling. Okay. okay, now I'm going to draw a rectangle first. I'm going to draw over here and I will set 10 by 10 for the units. Okay, and then I will draw another one with 15 by, oh, sorry. With 15 by 15, okay, press enter. Okay, and now I'm going to move it a little bit because you can see that. And I'm going to draw this side first and later on I will just copy and paste for another side. And now I'm going to move it first. Okay, just let the object and click OK. Right. And I'm going to copy this leg. Okay, for the length, I'm going to put 215. So this is the side view for our chair like this one. So this length is around 215. The distance is around 215. Okay, now I'm going to copy this one also. Okay. And I'm going to move it a little bit 
around eight units because I don't want my chair, the back of my chair is very straight. I want it a little bit curved, a little bit bent. So I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this rectangle. For around two three zero and two four zero for another one and this small rectangle also I'm going to copy it copy and paste it mm, this one I'm going to put four six zero Okay, All right, this one also move it, and this one I'm going to put two for zero. All right, you can see that the framework for our chair. Okay, now we're going to use loof command. To create a leg, a complete leg for our chair. If you all have any question, feel free to drop your question or comment in the chat box. To click enter and enter. Then for this, click enter and enter. All right, we already finished one side. Uh, for our chair. Okay, so now I'm going to copy and paste for another side. Let's copy. Select this two J. Select the base point. And this one I'm going to put uh, 165. This turn I'm going to put 165. All right, now you can see it's very easy. We already complete our leg for the tray. Okay, so now I'm going to draw this, not this cushion, but this one. Okay, let's change the visual style to wireframe first, and then go to right. I'm going to move this. All right, welcome. Welcome, Ikwan. Okay. okay, like I said just now, I'm going to create one more rectangle. One more rectangle, ten by ten. You all right? Okay. So now we're going to extract it. Just type ext. Enter. Okay. For the length, because just now we type two one five right for this, and you also type two one five. Okay. And copy this. For the height, I'm going to put. For the height, I'm going to put for this one is one four zero center. All right. Okay. Now we're going to slap for this part. So just type cell I C E. Just enter. I welcome Marjorie. Okay. Just select the object that we want to slide and press enter or the space bar. And then it's a line. Click, click the line. Okay. Same for this. Okay. 
Okay, it looks good right now. Same for this slide. Import this over here. Okay, all right, it looks very good right now. Okay, let's continue for this side. You can see it, yeah, have a, a little bit curved. At this side, so we cannot just copy and paste. So we have to create one more rectangle over here for this side. Then I'm going to put 10 by 10 center. Okay, just move it. I think I entered the wrong value. It's okay. Let's do it again. By ten, get into move it. Check. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have to extrude it again. The value is two one five. And copy. The length of one four zero. Okay, we have to start slice it again. Select the part that you want to slide. Okay, same as here. And the comment again. Which you can see is very easy to create a 3D model by using uh, AutoCAD because and it's not only can create 2D drawing, but AutoCAD also can use to create a 3D drawing. So it's uh, very useful. All right. Okay. Then we can slide it. You have to make sure that you uh, select these two different lines. If not, you cannot success to slide it. All right. That's good. So now we're going to create this and this. But you can see that the height is different. And for this one also, it's uh, now a little bit. So now I'm going to go to view okay same create a one more rectangle just 10 by 10 okay i'm going to move it i'm going to move it 10 units down a little bit Okay. Okay, sorry, just now I forgot to select the base point. Also. Okay, still looks same. It's okay. I'm going to move it a minute. Okay, now I'm going to move down a little bit for this rectangle. Is at this point. Yeah. 
sorry for the mistake. Okay, now we can exclude it. XT. And for this lane, I'm going to put 165. All right. Just like others, just copy and paste it. So we have to make sure that you see the Z axis. So it will just move down. And for this, I'm going to put one five zero. Okay. Okay. Now let's copy it for the for the back. <clears throat> For the distance, I'm going to put two point five. Same as this one, just copy and paste it. Same distance. All right. So now we're going to slice it. Okay. Just slice in for this part. Just slice it. This over here, select the object and then slice the part that you want. Oh, sorry, slice the, select the wrong line. Okay, all right, looks very good right now. Then as this part, keeps okay. Okay. Almost done with our framework. All right, now try to change to very stick visual style. Okay, it looks better right now. Okay, so now we are going to create this cushion. So to create this cushion, go to this mesh, mesh tab, and then select this mesh box, and then just draw it. Sorry, I should change the visual style to very stick as uh, to framework, uh, wireframe. Okay, you can see it's too big for our chair, but it's okay. We can change it by clicking over here. Just click scale and change it. All right, it looks better right now. I think this size is suitable for this chair. Okay, so now we're going to move it, little bit, move it up a little bit. Okay. okay now I'll try to change it to real estate again to see how. Mm, I think still need to move up a little bit. All right, it looks good, brain. Okay, and then the size is okay. So now we're going to select this move more. Just click it to maximum. 
and then it will pop up a dialog box like this and then it will you will see this mesh box is become a very very steep cushion like this one okay so now i'm going to copy and paste this cushion because we have another cushion over here we have to grab one more cushion or just copy and paste it Okay, now try to rotate it. Okay, I'm going to rotate for 90 degrees. But it's quite big for this cushion, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, I think this size is very good. So now we're going to move it to put it over here. Try to break it. Okay. Oh, this is too high. So we'll drag down a little bit. I'm going to find some not enough i'm going to drag down for 10 units okay uh, 10 more units uh. okay so it looks very good right now you can see that this chair is curved not it's not just straight in so we have a li little bit bent Okay, so now we're going to rotate it a little bit. For around five degrees. All right, I think it looks good right now. Okay, so now we can just render it to make it look like a wood chair. So just go to uh, view and click the material browser. Oh, before this, I think we can group all the framework together so that we don't need to render it one by one so just use this union command to union of them together so okay, select all the framework Include this one. Include this one. This and this. Okay, I believe they oh, still have one more. Okay, I believe they I already select all the framework and then just click OK to union them together to make them as a one object so that we no need to render them one by one. Okay, so now just choose the wood material or texture. You can see the AutoCAD have many material or texture at the library. I'm going to choose the wood. Where is it? Okay. I'm going to choose this one. So I forget to change it to the step. Okay. It looks good right now. Or you can just change the color. I click the object that you want to change the color. Okay. And then click over click the properties of the object. You can just like click it, the properties, and then click select this color. And you can select the many types of color over here. And I'm going to select this gray color. Hello, welcome. All right, you can see we've already done with our chase. Okay, it's quite simple actually. 
if you similar with this software, you can finish it within five to 10 minutes. Okay, I think this is also our free online lesson today. So now let's me to introduce our ecosystem website. Wait a minute, I'm going to share my browser. Just go to browser and then just type ecosystem.com and click enter and then you'll see a page like this and this is the main page for ecosystem website. And you can see there are many tabs over here. If you have any question, you can just click this help desk and create a new ticket over here. So just click this new ticket and fill in all of your information and then our team will reply you as fast as possible. And we also have uh, the Autodesk product or the training over here. If you're interested, you can just click it and see. Uh, sorry, we don't have any certificate for this free online lesson. But if you, if you join our training class, then you will get a, a Autodesk certification. Okay, then over here, you can see that we have the latest promotion and news over here. And now we have undergoing this Matika training promotion. You will get a 50% discount for AutoCAD, Brave and Inventor training. But it's until September only this month. Okay. And you scroll down a little bit, you will see we have another uh, online lesson or workshop that will come in soon. For example, tomorrow we, already, we also have this Revit MEP for beginners. If you are interested, you can join at the same time, 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. You can just click on it. And then, wait a minute. All right, you are welcome, CCW. Stay safe. And you have interest to our free online lesson, just click this going to register for our free online lesson. All right. And you want to re watch this video or you want to see another free online lesson, you can scroll to the bottom here and click this YouTube icon and it will guide you to our ecosystem channel. You can see we have many free online lesson over here can just click it and if you have any question you can just drop your comment at you can just drop a comment for here sorry hello uh, who's speaking just now if you all have any question you can just drop your comment question at the chat box okay i think that's all for today Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining our free online lesson. Thank you, CW. Thank you, Hadri. Thank you, Majorin, Meiji, Iquan, Rano, Wilson, and everyone. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to end this meeting right now. Do you all have any questions? You can feel free to ask right now. If no, then I'm going to end this meeting right now. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe. Stay home. You are welcome. Uh, sorry, Wilson, we don't have certification for this free online lesson. We only provide certificate for our training course. You are welcome, Hadri. I will say if you need the certification, maybe you can join our training training class, training lesson. Maybe you can click, you can click this. I've chat and check with us. You're welcome. I'm going to end this meeting right now. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Stay home and stay safe.